I'm Dr. Sarah Renee Langley, and I'm here to help you to learn how to live, love, and lead boldly and powerfully without limits. So I was asked the question, how do I remove blocks from my life? How do I remove the blocks from my life? Oh, well, here's how. I'm going to give you an acronym, and I do not want you to ever forget this, okay? So it's called ACE IT. I ACE IT. That's how I remove blocks from my life. I ACE IT. You're like, well, what does ACE IT mean? I'm about to tell you. So it's an acronym, A-C-E-I-T. Here's how you remove the blocks from your life. A stands for align. When you start to align with your mission, your vision, your desires, it makes it a bit easier for you to not even focus on blocks, self-imposed limitations, um, other people's opinions about you. When you start to align with who you are and also align with those who are in alignment <laughs> with your vibration, with your vibe, with your mood, with your aspirations and your goals, it makes it a bit more easier because of the fact that now you are moved, you have the momentum, the drive to stay in that space and that place of pursuing your dreams. So align with, your, with who you are, with your call to do, and with your desires of your heart. Um, C in ACIT stands for connect. When you connect with yourself, when you connect with source, with God, with the universe, when you connect, it is like no other. Because now you are at a place where you are unpinching the flow of your power, of your energy, of your calling on your life, on your presence, on your purpose. When you connect and not keep disconnecting from the things that may scare you, but the very things that's going to get you to your next level of greatness. When you connect with yourself and get to really own, embrace, accept, and be who you are called to be. Not playing mediocre, not playing small anymore, not playing average, but truly being who you are called to be. When you are connecting with yourself and connecting with source, there you are unstoppable at that point. All right, so A is align, C is connect, E is embody. So just reinforcing what I just shared with you. So now you're embodying the person that you desire to become. You know, I was reading these memes out there and where it's, it was talking about um, any meme, you can pick them. But this one caught my attention in regards to this one guy was saying, oh, well, I'll be the guy of her dreams when she does this and when she does that. And this is not at all about this man saying this about this woman. This can be a woman saying this about a man. But the point is, is that, when you are who you're supposed to be, that is when the magic happens. So it's not a matter, another example would be when I would see uh, women saying, you know what? So in the story in the Bible about Ruth and Boaz, you can go ahead and check that out at your leisure. They'll say, you know what? I'm waiting for my Boaz. I'm waiting for my, you know, my husband. Here's the thing. Are you embodying being a wife? Are you being Ruth? <laughs> so it's not when this happens, then I will do this. That formula does not work. It does not work. It does not get you to where you're supposed to be. Rather, it is a matter of being that already. If you are desiring to be a millionaire, billionaire, have you know the best homes, the best cars, living the best life, then you have to be that person. You have to embody that person already as if you have that. And you're not allowing the external factors to determine your worth or your value or your deservedness at all. You can be that great person with or without it. You disconnect and disengage so that that thing does not impact or um, take hold or control your life. You control it. So it is about you being that person way before anything else and having that feeling of what it feels like. Even if you don't know what it feels like, then start being you know, visual. Start looking up people who you admire who are in the position that you desire to be. So that now you can start imagining and visualizing what that is like and feeling it. So that now you can see it on a regular basis in your mind and then you make it manifest outward. So A is for align, C is connect, E is embody, I is invest. You gotta pay to play. 
and not just with your money, but with your time, with your energy. You have to be careful and mindful, even with your energy, who is worthy to be in your energy and your space and your place, um, in your space, but also you being in certain spaces and places and people around people that if it's not in alignment with your energy, um, with your invested time, with your invested money, then it's time to disconnect. And it may be easier said than done, but it's not impossible. So it is a matter of being able to now re rethink about how you are investing yourself, your time, your energy, your money to get you to your limitless life. And finally, in A sit, so A is align, C is connect, E is embody, I is invest, T is trust. You have to trust. You have to trust the process. You have to trust source, God, the universe. You have to trust yourself. You know, when we spend time with people that we know, that we love, and it, it got to the point that we were able to trust them because we spent time with them. We became comfortable with them. But are we spending enough time with our own selves to trust ourselves, to trust our inner spirit, to trust our gut, to trust the Holy Spirit, to trust the, the, the ideas that comes up for us that really leads us to our gold, our gold mine, our desires, our dreams, <laughs> our next, our limitless lives. So make sure that in order for you to remove the blocks, when you're really now shifting your mindset on what really matters most, what's really important, as opposed to putting time into things that are not getting you anywhere, it's not serving you, it's time to ace it. When you ace it, it will truly get you to live, love, and lead powerfully and boldly without limits and taking off the limits and removing the blocks from your life. Thank you so much for your time.